डिसन today we just elaborate the functions of the kidney and the first of all the structures of the kidney we already know about it the structures are what are the structures in the outer cortex and the medulla outer cortex and the cortex and medulla cortex and the medulla okay in the kidney there is cortex and medulla this part is clear okay then today we discuss about the types types of nephron types of nephron what are the types of nephron there are two types of nephron there are two types of nephron first of all first of all the cortical nephron cortical nephron then the juxta medullary as because cortical nephron it present in the cortex cortical nephron present in cortex cortical nephron present in the cortex which part of the nephron present in the cortex the glomerular part present in the cortex which part the glomerulus the glomerulus of the nephron present in the cortex so this kind of nephron is called cortical nephron and what as in case of juxta medullary it is simple the glomerular is present in the medulla glomerula is present in the medulla these are the parts of the kidney the cortex outer cortex and the inner medulla in case of cortical nephron the glomerula of this nephron present in the cortex in in case of juxta medullary nephron the glomerula present in the medulla the glomerula present in the medulla okay so the nephron are two types the juxta medullary nephron juxta glomerular na the nephron called juxta medullary the juxta medullary nephron and cortical nephron in case of cortical nephron the glomerulus of the nephron present in the cortex and in case of juxta medullary nephron the glomerulus present in the medulla for these reasons they are called the cortical nephron and the juxta medullary nephron juxta medullary nephron let me show you a figure of juxta glomerular and the cortical nephron already these contents are discussed in your lectures okay i just revise this in this tutorial show that this is the cortex of the kidney and this part is the medulla this is the cortical nephron where the glomerulus where the glomerulus present in the cortex present in the cortex the glomerulus present in the cortex and in case of in case of juxta medullary nephron the glomerulus present in the medulla near the medulla now come to the difference of the cortical and juxta medullary nephron the first point is the glomerulus present in the the glomerulus is 
in case of cortical nephron the glomerula so come to the cortical nephron the difference between cortical nephron and juxta medullary nephron in case of cortical nephron what happened in case of cortical nephron the glomerulus glomerulus where the glomerulus situated the glomerulus situated in the outer cortex outer cortex in case of juxta medullary nephron what happens the glomerulus the glomerulus situated in the inner cortex near the medulla inner cortex near the medulla this difference is very important very much important for your viva and of course for your written examination then the number of cortical nephron is much more higher percentage than the juxta medullary nephron the cortical nephron the number of the cortical nephron is much more higher than the juxta medullary nephron so how percentage the cortical nephron is 80 to 85 percent the percentage or number of the number of cortical nephron is 80 to 85 percent 80 to 85 percent of total nephron 80 to 85 percent of total nephron where the juxta medullary nephron is 15 to 20 percent 15 to 20 percent we already know that we already know that we have 1 million of nephron in each kidney so in both kidney we have 2 million of nephron that means 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs so 20 lakhs of nephron is present in our body according to the guidance okay so first of all the cortical nephron it is present in the outer cortex and in case of juxta medullary nephron in the cortex and the near the medulla number of the cortical nephron is 80 to 85 percent whereas the juxta medullary nephron is 15 to 20 percent now comes to the very much important difference we already know everything is supplied by some blood vessels capillary is also a blood vessel so the cortical nephron the cortical nephron in case of cortical nephron the capillary is called what is the capillary peritubular capillary peritubular capillary hmm? in case of cortical nephron the lobes are the lobes is surrounded by peritubular capillary and in case of juxta medullary nephron there is a special thing occurs what happens at these peritubular capillaries in the juxta medullary nephron are directly arises peritubular capillaries in juxta medullary nephron are directly arises from the efferent arteries and it is called vasa recta and it is called vasa recta okay and it is called कैपिलरिजिलोटिकल ने the capillaries are called the peritubular capillaries okay but in case of juxta medullary nephron there is a special thing the peritubular capillaries are specially formed and they are specially arised directly from the efferent artery the efferent in efferent artery you already know the glomerulus is formed by the efferent artery and the efferent artery and their anastomosis is called the glomerulus okay and in case of juxta medullary nephron what are the parts of the nephron can anyone answer me the parts of the nephron 
the parts of the nephron divided into two, two parts the renal corpuscle and renal tubules the renal corpuscle is further divided into glomerular capillaries and Bowman's capsule and the tubules are proximal convoluted tubules loop of Henle proximal convoluted tubule very good then loop of Henle descending and descending and then this the convoluted tubule next one collecting tubule then collecting duct okay. collecting hmm. surrounding the loop of Henle and the other tubules there are some capillaries in case of cortical nephron these capillaries are called peritubular capillaries but in case of juxtamedullary nephron these are specially formed capillaries which is called the vasa recta there is a very much important thing what is done by the vasa recta we just know this after okay so the vasa recta is nothing just the capillary which is directly arises from the efferent arteriole that is vasa recta okay it is one kind of capillary now the loop of henley loop of henley extension in case of cortical nephron what happens the loop of henley is long or short in this diagram let me see you this is the cortical nephron and the this is the loop of Henle of cortical nephron and this is the juxta medullary nephron and this is the extension of the loop of Henle so which one is longer in case of juxta medullary nephron the loop of Henle is longer and in case of cortical nephron the loop of Henle is shorter okay so the difference we divide the difference the glomerulus of cortical nephron the glomerulus of cortical nephron present in the cortex and the glomerulus of the juxta medullary nephron in the inner cortex this is the outer cortex and this portion is the inner cortex just near the medulla just near the medulla then the loop is short loop of only short in case of cortical nephron and in case of juxta medullary nephron the loop of only is long okay next vasa recta and the peritubular capillaries in the cortical nephron there is peritubular capillaries and in case of juxta medullary nephron there is vasa recta number number of cortical nephron is much more higher than the number of the juxta medullary nephron cortical nephron is about 80 to 85 percent and juxta medullary nephron is about 10 to 15 percent Next one, what is the function? The cortical nephron, the function of the cortical nephron to form the dilute urine and the function of the juxtamedullary nephron to form concentrated urine. It has a separate item. We discuss this dilute and concentrated urine in the relevant item. Okay. Next, the functions of the kidney. What are the functions? Can anyone tell me the function, main function of the kidney? Main function of the kidney. What kind of organ kidney is? Kidney is an excretory organ. Kidney is an excretory organ. So the main function of the kidney to excrete the waste materials from the body through urine. So the function of the kidney is formation of urine to excrete the waste material from the body to extract the waste material from the body okay the function of kidney functions of kidney so what is the main function first of all formation of urine Formation of urine to excrete waste material from the body. 
the first function is formation of urine to excrete waste material from the body can anyone tell me another function hmm? from reabsorption reabsorption okay next of all reabsorption kidney function ashpe kina ashpe for the nephron next function as the function regulation of regulation uh, regulation of water and electrolyte balance very good regulation of water and electrolyte balance how kidney maintain the water and electrolyte balance through the formation of urine by urine formation it has it has to maintain the water and electrolyte balance okay so formation of urine is useful for excretory function excretory function that means the waste material is excreted through the urine then regulation of water balance regulation of electrolyte balance regulation of acid base balance regulation of acid base balance these functions are maintained by the formation of urine so first of all formation of urine to excrete the waste material from the body next of all maintain acid base balance then maintain the water balance maintain the water balance next the electrolyte balance okay okay another important function of kidney is endocrine function it is separately asked in your viva examination what is the endocrine function of kidney endocrine function it is hormone related function endocrine means the hormone related function first of all formation of erythropoietin formation of erythro erythropoietin is one kind of hormone this erythropoietin why it needed erythropoietin is needed in erythropoiesis what is erythropoiesis what is erythropoiesis erythropoiesis rbc rbc formation right the procedure of rbc formation is known as erythropoiesis so erythropoietin helps in erythro erythropoietin helps in erythropoiesis when kidney secrete this erythropoietin during the condition of hypoxia during the condition of hypoxia hypoxia means deficiency of lack of oxygen in the tissue level when there is lack of oxygen in the tissue level kidney formed erythropoietin which helps in erythropoiesis formation of rbc and there is more of hemoglobin and more transport of oxygen to the tissue the main function of hemoglobin to transport oxygen to the tissue so in case of hypoxic condition kidney release more erythropoietin which means there is more rbc more hemoglobin and more oxygen transported to the tissue this is the first endocrine function of kidney then formation of renin or secrete renin secrete secrete renin secrete renin some kind of cells that are specialized type of cells that present in the kidney we secrete renin and this renin is important for conversion of angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 we already discussed this in the regulation of blood pressure you already know about the renin angiotensin aldosterone mechanism this renin helps in this mechanism okay next of all what are the next 
endocrine function what is the next endocrine function all the function of the kidney is very much important either for retain or for the viva especially in case of your viva these sectors endocrine function excretory function